These TikTokers quite literally don't want you guys to be healthy anymore. That's half of it. Apparently to them, if you guys are happy and healthy and want to achieve the best version of yourselves. Actively not wanting to be fat is fat phobia. You can't be doing that. That's just fat phobic. Come on. So the other day, I was super curious to see what would happen if I went onto TikTok and typed up fat phobic. To no one's surprise, I found a bunch of videos that are actually completely toxic. Some of the stuff I'm going to show you is pretty mind-blowing that people generally believe this absolute garbage. Now, I will say one thing before we get into it. Everybody is absolutely entitled to their own opinions. That goes without saying. They're also entitled for me to then go and ridicule them for it. You want a cookie? Oh, I don't want to get fat over the holidays. Oh, you're fat phobic? I am not prejudiced. Just afraid of being fat. I just want to be healthy. So, why didn't you say I prefer to be healthy or I avoid sugar because it's inflammatory or just no thanks. Who can imagine caring that much about the certain words that certain people use to get to the same conclusion. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's like we can sugarcoat it all we want. They may eat it. <laughs> On top of that, it's just you're coming to the same conclusion. I, I don't want to be big. I don't want to be overweight. I don't want to get fat. It just simply doesn't really matter. I feel like it goes without saying that they're getting to the same conclusion that they don't want to be overweight. <laughs> what I've seen over these past few years as well is how some of the words have now been changed. You know, they really are actually trying to censor your freedom of speech effectively because there's no way around that. If you are now literally choosing the words that I am and not allowed to use, you're dictating the way I should be speaking. Well, let's be honest. Use a certain word, and then they'll suddenly create a new word for you to use, which makes them feel better about themselves. Even though, let's be honest, I thought you guys were already happy, so why does it matter what I say? But you'll say that, and then a few months later, they'll basically ask you to not use that word again. It's just pointless. We're going around in a massive circle here. Here's what my motivations are. Jesus, for real. I'm just surprised how comfortable people seem expressing their fat phobia out loud. Not around fat people. It's still prejudice no matter where you say it. Isn't it different though, because weight is something you can control? Like, I have self-control. You- <gasps> How- Bloody dare you! Is she stupid or something? You can't control your weight! Now, it goes without saying, it's absolutely easier for certain people to put on weight than others. Of course, I'm not stupid. I'm sure everyone watching this video has, or will at some point, issue with weight. I don't know why, it just seems to be like this small knit group that they are only allowed to talk about it because it's like this exclusive club. It's really not. Everyone's dealt with it from time to time. Like, let me know in the comments down below some of your personal experience with this. But then they say ridiculous things like, I can't believe how comfortable you are sat there right now expressing your fat phobia. Ugh. <laughs> and then claiming that, yes, if I know Jesus and I don't, he would be angry if, if he thought I was fat phobic. That wouldn't let me into heaven if I was fat phobic. Even though one of the deadly sins is quite literally gluttony. But yeah, Jesus would be quite angry if he found out you guys were fat phobic. So uh, it's just absolutely absurd, man. Some of these like little skits that some of the people create on trying to control the certain words that you guys use. And to talk about how toxic it has been recently. I mean, there's just been so many TikToks in which it's almost like these people don't want you to be the best version of yourselves. They're trying to put you down. So I guess it elevates them higher or something, which is absolutely absurd. It goes without saying, working out, eating healthier, the, the benefits are endless. And for one, they're actually real, as opposed to the, you could be healthier any size is quite literally the biggest scam going. But look at all these TikToks. They're all the exact same. They call you fat phobic for wanting to work out or eat healthy, which is ridiculous. You work out strictly for appearance-based reasons, you are fat phobic. Well, it's okay to be weak. Nobody cares about when you do that and there's like muscles there, nobody cares about that. We don't want to see it that. It is okay to be fat. Men are not meant to be dominant. Men are meant to be submissive. Life is too short to exercise. I'm just going to be honest. They're don't care about health. I also find a lot of them as well. It almost comes from a very insecure place, right? Like when was the last time you saw a really big guy or a really big girl who's completely jacked and is like, yeah, exercise is toxic. Never, that's never happened because you're not going to see that. It seems to be always the case that it's people that can't attain the body and are just too lazy to do it in the first place. So as opposed to then trying to work hard and to achieve that, they want to then bring down the people that have managed to obtain that. It's almost like it comes from a very jealous state of mind of them saying this. They can't have it, you have it. Now they want to bring you down for achieving that, which is just ridiculous. Something like hitting your weight goals 
should be celebrated. If you are in shape and you've done well and you've put in the hard work, that should absolutely be celebrated. It's not easy. That's why it should be celebrated. It should be morely celebrated than just sitting on your ass and being like, well, you know what, man? Today I had three McDonald's. It wasn't easy, but I managed to do it. And now I'm bigger than ever, which is, oh my God. Queen, I am so happy for you. <laughs> That's not talent. That's not hard. Anyone can do that. That isn't something that you should strive to be. They talk about being so happy all the time as well. And they're probably the most miserable group I've ever seen on TikTok. Every TikTok is them complaining about something. Well, oh, you could be healthy at any size. You look at look how happy I am. You're overweight, like just work out. But my sister brought up a really like mind blowing point. When you're being fat phobic, you're also being a little bit classist. Have you heard of this argument? I have not heard of that. When you're somebody who has less money, it's a lot easier to be overweight. To buy a whole meal at a grocery store is a lot more expensive. But if you go like to say a McDonald's, they have like a dollar. Or Little Caesars. Or, yeah, you could get pizza for ten dollars. Oh my god, bro! This the way they twist it around to just fit their narrative of now it's now classist as well, not just fat phobic. It's now classist. They just seem to come up with these new terminologies all the time, just to and now they can just scream that particular word and they've innocently won the argument. Classist. Now, obviously, some foods can be way more expensive. Obviously, if you want to get a nice steak or something, absolutely. But buying it initially in a packet, I feel like when you buy chicken in, in a packet, you're not going to eat that all that chicken in one go. So then when you start spreading out the cost of just some rice chicken, which, by the way, you can use spices that make it actually taste good as opposed to just plain rice and chicken and a vegetable probably works out cheaper anyway. It's just a bit more effort. And that's that. The only thing I can totally agree with is the fact that the people that don't have time to cook, if you generally don't have time in your day, yes, I do agree that certain fast food places are more convenient. But I can imagine if you're sat there on a podcast right now, you probably have the time. Also, all these people making the TikToks, bro. I think you have time. You do like 10 TikToks a day and they're like, man, I don't have the time to make a healthy meal. Really? Yeah, but I'm, I'm, I'm so busy. I feel like there's always time though for those people. To feed your whole family and like groceries that would come out to what, like 30, 40 bucks or 50, depending on how big your family is. To even have time to work out is also a privilege. A lot of people who are like lower income, they're working to get by, bro. They're working long hours, long shifts. They're not going to have time to even work out. Like obviously they're going to be overweight. Or like they're too tired to cook, so they're just buy a piece of pizza. It's not necessarily anybody's fault, right? It's not necessarily an, an ugly thing because people can't help but be overweight. Again, I agree on the fact that it's certainly easier to eat the unhealthy stuff. Absolutely. I feel like that's a massive issue. But then there's also certain alternatives that are easy to cook. Eggs in the morning, one of the most healthiest things you could have. And it is certainly easy to do and cheap once you start spreading it out also, right? Because if you're spending that $50 on groceries, I'm pretty sure that's going to be a bit more than one meal. <laughs> Maybe if it's a big family, then sure, probably could be a big meal. But if you're getting takeaway, dude, takeaway is so expensive now. If I get a McDonald's for me in Canada, like 15 to $20, easy. Especially if you deliver and then you got a tip. They add all these charges and fees onto it now. It's not. Half the time they forget stuff as well and then it's an inconvenient because they can't find your place so then you have to go and help them. It'd probably be a hell of a lot easier if I was to just cook and make my own food. I'm going to the gym so I don't get fat. Okay, fat phobia. Fat phobia? I'm just afraid of gaining weight. You're scared of becoming fat. Yeah. That's literally fat phobic. Hey, good. That looks like I'm fat phobic, guys. Imagine if you use this in any other argument as well, by the way. Diabetes phobia? Ugh. Why are you so scared of getting diabetes? Cringe. Time to cancel them. They're scared of getting cancer. Cancer phobe. <laughs> yeah, I'm scared of becoming something that I really don't want to become. You get all these scary health risks that normally come along with it. Yeah. <laughs> Actively not wanting to be fat is fat phobia. And therefore, you're a fat phobia. Now, 55,400 people saw that TikTok and were like, yeah. <laughs> well, that's incredibly toxic. Generally very curious to see what you guys think about this, as I just find it incredibly toxic to have this mindset. And I'm sure the majority of you guys probably agree with that as well. That all being said, hope you're having a great day. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.